I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about Facebook and how you can protect your information and the information of some other people around you. A lot of people have heard of whatever this Facebook and Cambridge Analytica scandal is. Um, this was actually done with, I believe, some of those little quickly taken quiz and find out who you're most like. Um, and I don't think people actually realize that that's considered like an app almost. So I'll share this article and I'll share another article with you a little bit more further um, information. But basically, it's a good idea to get into Facebook. And once you're logged into Facebook, on the right-hand side, there's a little arrow and there's settings. And that's actually what I'm on right now. And I'm on apps and websites, and that's what it falls under that um, analytic, Cambridge Analytica app or website would fall under there. So basically, when you've done things like that, you may not have knowingly, you've allowed your information and possibly other people's information to be used and sold by Facebook. Um, so let me just give you a little explanation like Panera Bread here um, I use to log into my information uh, when I was I activated a Panera Bread card um, and basically like this I've only allowed a few things and these were the things that were needed for the app and I'm not that doesn't bother me at all um, you know so it's good I to get in here and check on some of those um, one I wasn't, I used Hootsuite a while ago, I haven't used it recently, but when I logged, checked on this, um, you'll notice my friend list. I've actually shared my friend list. I've shared, uh, whoops, go back there. Um, I've shared photos with them, uh, basically anything. And so I need to get back on and change some of that. Um, and I'll do that in a little bit. But... It is a good idea to get through, check your privacy, check your timeline and tagging. Um, you should be aware of what you are sharing about yourself and sharing about others. And so I, again, I will share this article um, right here uh, from Techlicious. It's a recent one from March 20th, 2018. And it's going to walk you through checking some of those privacy settings and help protect you and others around you. So hopefully this Take Two for Tech has helped you out today.